Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So it's Friday, which means it's yard sale day. And I have a couple uh, brought up here on Craigslist and I'll show you guys which ones that we're intentionally going to visit and then we'll stop at other ones along the way. That's usually how I do it. So um, we're gonna go to the furthest one away, which is all the way up in Broomfield, Colorado. So at first glance, it looks like kids junk and stuff like that. And once you get over here, I kept scrolling through the pictures. I noticed that in the garage, there's some interesting stuff right here. Right here, we've got like, looks like PV cabinets, carving stuff, some road cases. Um, you know, that stuff could be valuable if it's even for sale. Uh, I don't know if it's for sale. I don't even know exactly what kind of speakers or anything are in there. But that's something to inquire about once we get there. And there was something else that I wanted from this place. Oh, yeah. The tiki torches. I want some tiki torches for the backyard. And, uh, all right. So, there's that one. There is another one here. So, in this case, right here, I can see a green piece of uranium glass. Down in this corner, I see some more depression glass down here. Green uranium glass, like Vaseline glass and stuff. We'll definitely check that out see if it's priced correctly this is an estate sale so you know these people might be ripped trying to rip me off but um you know estate sales are very hit or miss you never know if you're going to find something uh, at a good price or if they're just overpricing the crap out of stuff um silverware i don't know if it's real silver but we'll go and check it out and then just your normal odds and ends I always look at, try to look closely at these cases, but I don't see any uranium glass in that one. But this one here I do. So that is what we're gonna go check out. There's one other one. There's no pictures, but it just says antique glass. So let's go hop in the truck. We'll head over there. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, we're at the first estate sale. It is in a trailer park. We'll go walk around and see what we find. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Great. Found this pair of hummingbird earrings, dollar a pair, and these are silver. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yep. Good find. Thank yeah, definitely. Yeah, because we tried to pull that stuff out, but if we didn't, I might uh, change the price on you now. Yeah. You know? Great, thank you. You know, a lot of this stuff might be worth looking at. It's all free, sir. This is all free? Uh-huh. Take whatever you want. Wow, okay. So there's some old Tarzan books and stuff here. And like a lot of Tarzan books. Old ones, too. I checked some prices, and in good condition, they're like $20. So that's definitely a profit if I was interested in taking them. But... Uh, as you guys probably know, I don't like reselling on eBay because of just the hassle and the fees, unless it's, you know, worth my time. Stuff like this is just interesting to look at. And, uh, I don't have a vast knowledge of books or anything. So if there was something here that's worth thousands, I wouldn't even know unless I individually check each one, which I'm not going to do. So maybe somebody out there sees something here that may or may not be valuable. This is pretty interesting here. It's a little thing of... 
Uh, it looks like Amazonite or maybe turquoise. Actually, that feels like turquoise. And for $2, that's actually a really good deal. All right, no coins I asked. I've seen all the, the coin stuff here. All right, we're gonna head to the next one. I did grab a few things. So just some stuff for the yard. Some extension cords, big thing of wire, all this stuff, everything in here, $8. All right, we're at the second one. This is a, just a regular yard sale. Let's see what they got. Some older equipment here. That's quality. All right, so I've been looking for Tiki torches. Um, they had three decent ones for three bucks a piece. Can't complain about that. All right, stopped and got some lunch, and we're at the last yard sale here. And there's a few few items on the side. Looks like stuff on the porch. Let's go take a look. Look at this, a treasure chest. Oh, oh, that smells like a basement. Some nuts and bolts in there. I hope I'm just not walking onto somebody's property here. It kind of feels like I am. I didn't see any signs for yard sale. <laughs> hmm. Is this part of the yard sale? Yeah. Okay, good. I felt like I was just walking around somebody's oh, house. Everything is for sale. We got a piano hinge here. I could use that. Go. See that? Treasure everywhere I look. Oh, a flare. I need that. Giant flare? It's a chimney it fire. It yeah. looks like one of those flares. It does, but yeah, no, it's not a flare. Okay. All right, I'll keep looking around. That's a little bag of like coins and like rocks and stones and maybe jewelry in there. I don't know. Coin? Yeah. Like, here? how much for that? Buck. Buck sounds good to me. I have no idea what's in there, but we'll look through it later. And piano hinge is free. Piano, I like that. Let's see if I can find something that I like. That's not for sale. Oh, darn it. That'd be cool for woodworking. That's uh, a piece of cottonwood burl right there. Agent burr. That's probably the most valuable thing you have sitting here. All right, so we got a nice score bag of all sorts of things. Looks like coins and possible silver jewelry in there little locket and stuff. We'll take a closer look at it uh, once we get home to the studio so we could really take a closer look. But we have one last yard sale and then we'll head home. Let's check it out. All right, here's what we got at the yard sales. So this was the most expensive thing that I bought and they were $3 a piece, so that's $9. Three tiki torches um, on Amazon, I think they're like $20 a piece or something like that, so that's not bad. And that's something I've been looking for. Uh, got this nice piece of about eight inch wide by one inch pine. I could definitely use that in the wood shop here. Uh, one of these things for bird feeders. 
Um, that was a dollar. A couple trellises I need for the garden, stuff like that. Um, all these canned items here, these items in cans, free. Thompson's water seal, full, unopened, free. A couple casters, those are 10 bucks a piece. I think he gave me like all this stuff for a dollar. Some wire, these things were a buck. You buy tin snips in a store, that's like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. And a couple more extension cords, can always use those. I think they were a buck each. All right, let's go inside and take a look at that little bag of treasures that we found. All right, so this is an 1895 old colonial sterling silver fork. This is um, definitely the most valuable thing we found today. I checked the eBay sold listings and these are selling, have sold in the past for anywhere between 50 and $70 for one single fork. It's made out of silver. That is awesome. Speaking of silver, we also got these little uh, hummingbird, silver hummingbird things. Right in that corner, you can see it says 925. That's how I know that these are silver. This thing, eBay sold listings, they're selling anywhere between 10 and $30. It is a 1930s vintage uranium glass candy dish. And we can set that with my other uranium glass stuff that I found, previous yard sales. Now let's get into this bag. We'll lay everything out. I'll take a look at it before you start filming and uh, we'll see if there's anything valuable in it. So I just dumped this out and I am already seeing some really, really cool stuff. This is a piece of fluorite, fluorite crystal, right? It's just some other random gemstones and stuff. Here's like a little geode and this, but this isn't the cool stuff, right? And a tumble of amethyst. Look at this. As soon as I start looking in closer, what words can you read besides diploma? I see sterling, sterling, 925, uh, sterling. Like this is full of silver, guys. This is full of silver. There may even be gold and stuff in here. We're gonna look a little bit closer here. We're gonna look a lot closer. <laughs> But I think, we'd, uh, I think we've, we've actually hit the jackpot here. Pretty much everything there has the word sterling on it. However, a lot of it over here also has sterling on it. But I don't think that this or this or this or this, I don't think that's real silver. It doesn't look like real silver. I did not run the magnet over it yet. That's going to be the next step. I'm actually going to run the magnet over everything. And if the magnet picks it up, then we know that we don't have to test it um, unless it's just picking up the little loop. So, okay, so we know that's not anything. The magnet's just picking up things left and right here. So a lot of this stuff is not gonna be silver. Um, this piece could be because it's only the loop that got caught. So that little piece, this stuff here, we can set that off to the side. I don't have to waste time testing it with acid, which is the next step after this. This here, I can tell you that's not silver. That's pot metal. All right, so I'm gonna finish with the magnet here. Um, I can show you what we did get. There's like a New Orleans Tours dollar discount off from who knows when, some Venezuela money. Here's all the gemstones. Looks like a, I wanna say Swedish candy bar. Here's some coins. There's a wheat penny there. Nothing of real value. No silver or anything like that. Random items. You can hear Discord in the background if you guys wanna join my Discord, link below. And actually this thing here, I think it might be gold because very rarely do people take that much time to hand carve a very thin piece of metal. 
So I'm gonna test that for silver and gold. Yeah, so as expected, this thing here, it does say sterling on it, but it's obviously not silver, especially when you take a magnet to it. Even this one here sticks to the magnet. So those are Chinese silver. I believe all these are also fake. They just don't look like silver. Yeah, that's none of that silver. So we can get rid of that. That passes the magnet test. So do these. All right, so as you guys know, this is pretty much the main reason I like to go looking for stuff at yard sales. You never know what you're gonna find. This guy just had a Ziploc bag sitting on top of a toolbox. And I was like, what's that? He's like, oh, that you could have it for a buck, you know? And I was like, all right, I didn't even really see what was in it. I saw some coins, I saw some jewelry. This is the kind of stuff that you hope is in one of those little bags that you may find if you keep your eyes open. I tested everything. It's all uh, 925 silver, meaning that it turns dark red when you test it with acid. Um, this stuff here, just co mostly costume jewelry. I thought for sure this was gonna be uh, silver or maybe even gold or gold filled. Usually they're gold filled is what I find, but this one here is magnetic. It's not precious metals. Some of these say uh, sterling on it, but they're not. This is 10 karat gold and it weighs 0 0.91 grams. I did the calculations, I did the math, that is worth about $21 today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh up all this silver on the scale next, and I'll get you a value on that. All right, and here we have 92.6 grams of sterling silver. Now, of course, this fork alone is worth between $50 and $70, but if we took everything and melted it down, it would be worth uh, about $55. So there you go. I mean, we got easily a hundred bucks worth of silver there. We have 20 bucks worth of gold. This piece of uranium glass, that's probably $10 at the cheapest. So back in 2012, I started doing some coin roll hunting. You know, that's going to the bank, uh, getting a whole bunch of change, picking the silver ones out and putting and sending all the other ones back. And ever since then, I, I became interested in treasure hunting, and that's basically what started this YouTube channel. So um, what I'm getting at is, if you guys are also interested in starting to collect silver and gold and bullion coins and numismatic coins and all sorts of awesome precious metals, uh, I do have an AppMex Precious Metals affiliate link that you guys can use and you can start collecting gold and silver yourself. Right now, silver is like $20 an ounce and gold is like $1,700 an ounce. It's super cheap right now. Um, historically, gold and silver always go up and the best time to start collecting gold and silver is now. And it's pretty addictive, I'm warning you. You start buying silver coins and stuff and you're like, oh, I gotta have more. So I'll put a link down below for AppMex. It is an affiliate link, and I hope that gets you guys started and interested in treasure hunting as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.